Here are two super easy ways to fix AI faces. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I will show you two methods. One is for free with the GFPGen demo that I have linked below. And the second one is with the Adobe Photoshop beta. On top of that, I'm going to show you methods to even improve on these results. Also join my free Facebook group for AI art and watch my live stream on Sunday where I will review your mid journey works. So let's first start with the free method here. So go to this website here and actually it is super easy to use. First, you have to connect up here. So click here to connect to host runtime. And then after it's connected, you get this green hook here and it shows you RAM and disk. By the way, you can also copy this project over to your Google Drive if you need to or if you want to make changes, but probably you don't. So this is how easy that is. Every time you see some code here, you mouse over it and there is a play button up here on the left. So you click that and let it run until you see a green hook over here. So let's click here and it says warning this notebook is not authorized by Google. Don't worry about that. Click on run anyway and now it's running and it's doing some magic stuff down here. I will go to the next step so you don't have to wait. After this is done, we have the green hook here. Scroll down to the next step and here it says upload images. So click here again on the run button and then after a second you will see choose files here. So you can choose multiple files or just one. I'm going with one for now. After this is done, again you get the green hook. Ignore this step here that uses demo images. You don't want to do that. You want to use your own images. And then it says interference. So click here again to let that run. After this is done, of course, again, you have the green hook. You scroll a little bit lower. You say visualize here. Click on the play button. Now you see the before and the after result. This demo will also upscale the image. So let's scroll down here and click on the next step. And after this is done, again, the green hook. You see this is now implemented in the full image. Go down here to download the results. You have to click the play button again. After you've done this, this will open up a download dialog where you can download the zip file into your folder. You will find the zip file in your folder. Double click on that in Windows and then click up here on Extract All and then on Extract. This will put it in a new folder, but also open that folder up. So in here you have a results folder and this has a cropped face in it. And then you have a restored face crop here. And then you have the restored image, which has everything in it. You can see that it is pretty blurry. It doesn't have the skin texture anymore and that is missing the art style. So let me show you how to fix this. I'm going to use Affinity Photo for that, but you can use any software you want. So let's go to File, Open and open the original image. We already know that the improved version has double the resolution. So let's go up here to Document, Resize Document, click in here and then you write the little star icon two, so it's doubling it on the width and on the height, actually four times bigger. Let's click on resize here. Now this has the correct resolution. Now let's go here to file and place and search in the download folder for the full image. This is it. And we click in here, place it over the image. Now first I'm going to go down here to live filters and I'm going to use an unsharpened mask. I'm going to drag that so I have the short blue line here onto my improved image. So this will only be applied to this image. Now push up the radius. Let's go here to, for example, three pixels. So we want to really sharpen this a lot. And here for the factor, we're going to one. If you see some fragments in here, go lower. For example, go here to two pixels and see if that's better. And you can already see that this will improve the face by a lot, but we are still missing the texture of our image. So how do we get that? Well, here's a little trick for you. With the improved layer selected, click on this box so you unhook it and you see the original picture. Now click on the original layer and right click on that layer and select duplicate. So you have a copy of that. Now what you want to do is 
you go up here to filters and then select frequency separation from that. Now you have a divider here and what you want to do is to set the radius so you have nice details here and a little bit of blur over here so that you get a bit of the skin texture back. So this is already pretty good. Let's click here on apply and this will create two layers. One is called high frequency, the other one is called low frequency. We don't need the low frequency layer anymore, so you can delete that. Now pull the high frequency layer on top of the other layer like this, and then turn the other layer on again. And you can see suddenly we have the texture of the original image again on the skin. Now there's also some fragments in here that might not be so nice like here with the nose and there's a little bit of an error here in the face and over here this part is also not so nice. So how do we fix this? Click down here to create a mask while the high frequency layer is selected like this. Now go over to the brush tool and then you want to zoom in a little bit more, select black as a color and then set your brush to a soft hardness. I have 30 right now and a small size, 100% opacity. And now you can softly brush over these areas that you want to have fixed because they have screwed up details. Also down here for the nose, you want to do this a little bit. You can also go in here, for example, and remove parts and see if you like that. And if you don't, just go control set to undo that part. And you can see now we have the original texture and also we have very nice details in the face. Now you might realize when you turn both of these layers off that the background details also look different, especially here and up here in the crown. So we don't want to have this. So what you're going to do is you click on the high frequency layer, you hold shift and then click on the grid layer too. Now make sure that both of them are turned on. So you click here on that little box and then right click and say group. Now both of them are inside of a group. Next, we are going to create a mask for that group. So down here again, click on mask layer. This has created a mask for that group and the mask right now is showing everything, but we want it to show nothing. So you select the mask, go up here to layer and then invert. Now the group is applied to nothing. We take our brush again, but this time we set it to white. You want to have a bigger size so you can cover this area faster. And then also for the hardness, you want to play around what is the correct setting and then simply paint in only the face, nothing else, only the face. You see like that. So now we have a correct face, but the rest of the image is the same. And when we zoom out, you can see that we have beautifully corrected the face, but still we have the original art style from the skin. Now I will show you how to do this in the Photoshop beta. Go down here to your Creative Cloud desktop app and in the left list here, search for beta apps. Then install the Photoshop beta because this is important so you get the photo restore filter. After you've done this, open up the Photoshop beta and then open up the file you want to edit. Now the first step you can do here is to go to filter, neural filters. And I would suggest that you not use the photo restoration filter right away. Instead, what you should do is turn on the smart portrait filter and set all of these settings over here for featured to plus one. So you have happiness plus one, facial age plus one. You can also go minus one if you want to, hair thickness plus one, eye direction plus one. These will introduce very slight changes, but at the same time improve the face. After this is done, for the output method, select new layer and click on OK. We have this new layer here, select it, go again to filter, neural filters. And this time we're going to use the photo restoration. Go here to photo enhancement, turn that to zero and turn on the enhance face. Wait for it to finish. And again, select output new layer and click on OK. Now, why did we create these two versions? You can see the first one has an improved face, but it has the original art style on it and the skin texture. 
while the second one has a much more improved face but it's blurry again and it also has removed all of the artistic details. So first click on the eye next to layer 2 to make that invisible and then select layer 1. Click down here on the mask symbol and then you get this properties menu up here. Click on invert. So now you see nothing of that layer. Again we're going to use our brush with the color white. Select it. Make the brush a little bit bigger and then you can paint in the face details just on the face. After this is done we turn on layer 2 again, select it, go to filter and then select sharpen, unsharpen mask. Again you want to set this to a high value, let's go here with 150%, radius 1.5 pixel so we get a lot more sharpness. Click on OK and you see this will improve the face and make it much sharper but the skin texture is not visible. So what we're going to do here is select layer 2, click again on the mask icon to create a mask and click on invert. Now let's zoom into the image and we want to use our brush again with white but this time we are only going to paint in the details we actually want to see. So let's paint in here the fixed eyes and also look out for errors in the face. So you can see we have improved this. Let's fix the nose down here and then we can even see if the lips are improved like that. So there we go. Let me know in the comments which of these versions you like most and see you in my next video. Bye!